My name is Valerie Pilgrim. Um, I'm originally from Nain Nunatsiarut. Um, I self-identify as a Khalunang Yuk, uh, which is essentially a mix between Inuk and uh, European settler in Labrador in Nunatsiarut. Um, I work as the manager of the Aboriginal Resource Office, which is a very new position um, since uh, November of 2018. As the manager of the Aboriginal Resource Office, um, I, um, along with my co-worker, create a safe space for Aboriginal students, provide uh, academic programming, um, social cultural programming for Indigenous students here at uh, the Aboriginal Resource Office, and sometimes in partnerships with other units or departments across the university. So. Um, yeah, providing a safe space, welcoming Indigenous students on campus um, and having supports in place to help them during their university years here. So we have student programming. For example, Fridays we have our weekly drumming circle. Um, we have, um, we, we participate in Sisters in Spirit. We have our Orange Shirt Day. We have our tent gathering every semester. Um, we try to have Aboriginal artist nights from time to time. We've had drum making workshops, um, circle time. Um, we have fun things such as midweek munchies <laughs> to gather students together. Um, we have our, Abri our open house for anyone at the beginning of the semester to come check out our office to see what we're doing. Um, we have movie screenings to bring awareness across campus to students, faculty, and staff. Um, story and circle sharing at times. Um, we provide writing clinics in, within partnership with the writing clinic here. Um, we find tutors for our Indigenous students if they need them. Um, we provide scholarships information which we've gathered uh, that we share with our students, um, just basically navigating the whole university system with uh, different processes. We try to make it as um, smoothly as possible for our Indigenous students. Um, I'm sure that we do a lot more, and uh, like I said, I'm new to the position, but um, a lot of different things. Well, we, we try to spread awareness across campus regarding Indigenous cultures in our province, and that's a big piece of the puzzle there, um, spreading awareness about the history and culture of Aboriginal peoples in our province is important because it, it allows, I guess, other departments, faculty, staff, even students to understand um, the history, or and even prehistory, or the history, I guess, of of our uh, indigenous peoples here. Yeah, so we participate in the blanket exercise. That's one good educational piece um, that we appreciate and has a lot of informative and interesting pieces. Um, and there's a lot more uh, that we can be doing as well. Um, so we do work with other units. I mean, Department of Education, Social Work Program, we just started our first pilot project in uh, a visiting elders program here at the university. So our first um, visiting elder today was Sagama Misel Jo, and that was just today, our first uh, official uh, visiting elder, I guess. I mean, he's been to campus for other reasons, but um, um, we hope to make this um, another part of Indigenous education here on campus as well. Well, in partnership with the School of Social Work, um, we, um, <clears throat> we are the Aboriginal Resource Office where I work partnered, was partnering with the uh, School of Social Work to um, um, provide <clears throat> a space on campus where an elder can visit and talk to students, staff and faculty. So one day a week, um, the elder will be with the School of Social Work. Another day of the week, they the elder will be in our office, Aboriginal Resource Office Student Lounge. Um, and we're basically telling the elder whatever you're comfortable with in sharing 
uh, we're open to, um, you know, uh, sitting down, having tea, talking, telling stories. Um, and um, so um, it's a one-year project, and we hope to make it a permanent project um, year after next if we can find the funding. Because they are knowledge holders. It's, that's a big piece of Indigenous education. Um, various elders have different strengths. We recognize that. Um, <clears throat> and they just bring... Like today, for instance, when Miss Seljo was here, he told stories, students, the energy in this lounge was, in the lounge was, was light, it was happy, people were asking him questions, whether that was about language or about uh, just out on the land or about just experiences uh, growing up. Um, it really brings out uh, pride in Indigenous students to to uh, talk with an elder and to, you know, really um, feel proud about who who they are and and have the honor of meeting uh, someone like Miss Eljo or an elder on campus to to get advice from guidance counseling and to have a laugh. Laughter is medicine and um, I think it's just um, bringing things down to earth and uh, just um, yeah, students having the opportunity to talk to an elder I think is, is, is just important in many ways, right? It's good for the spirit. Um, there have been various partnerships over the years from what I can remember of students going into communities uh, through engineering through um, other other programming, um, so I do know a handful of students who have gone to um, Con River, gone to Southern Labrador, Northern Labrador. So there are opportunities, but there are too few um, that could be expanded on as well. It just gives, um, um, I guess, students the opportunity to not only learn about. <clears throat> The different communities in the province, indigenous communities, but also to learn from each other as well. Yeah, so sharing and being able to um, sh share different stories and share different experiences with each other is important too for the students. And um, it's about you know bringing that pride back and or making it stronger even. You know. The tent gathering on Friday, we'll have uh, three elders present, actually. Um, two, two Inuk elders um, and uh, Sagama Jo, who is um, a Mi'kmaq from Newfoundland, from the island of Newf Newfoundland. Um, so it'll be a chance for students, faculty and staff to come together again, talk, even to eat, we're going to have um, the food. We we always hire um, for fire fires for fires catering from the First Light, which is formerly the Saint John's Native Friendship Center. So we partner with them sometimes too on uh, events as well. And so on Friday, we'll, people have a chance to talk to elders, meet meet other students. Students will meet uh, new students will meet students, uh, faculty staff. So everyone is welcome. So it just gives a chance for the university community, I guess, to get together and to uh, share, I guess, and eat. And I've been thinking about that and I consider it a broad yet unique area, right? Um, I think it's education based on, I guess, could you say grassroots? Um, Practical knowledge, knowledge coming from knowledge holders in communities that have um, people with uh, strengths coming and values coming from their communities. Yeah, um, it's it's something I would have to really think about, and it's much broader than that. But. Um, I just think it's uh, a, 
a type of education that is very valuable coming from um, original thought, perhaps, um, original peoples that are based on very practical and very harmonious, a big piece here at the university, or I, sh I should really speak for the Aboriginal Resource Office, and what I'd like to see is building relationships and providing awareness of Aboriginal culture and history, because there's so many misconceptions. Um, and of course, at the same time, my office would like to continue to provide a safe and welcoming environment for Indigenous students. But uh, relationship building and the the cultural awareness piece is huge. Um, and we're hoping the whole university community will come on board and just, um, you know, um, we can all work together to improve, um, I guess, many things for our students here on campus. So during the winter semester, we will be moving into a... Um, a bigger space, we'll have a bigger student lounge, we'll have three offices for staff. However, in the long term, we're hoping for um, an Aboriginal or Indigenous house, um, uh, our own building at some point, if we can get the funds. So that's what we're, our aim is, to, to have um, actually um, a bigger, much bigger space or our, our own building at some point, yeah. But in the transition, period we're going to be in a bigger space hopefully this winter 2019